This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, it has no track. Uh, I don't know why uh, I made such a defensive code here. So uh, if you are not um, familiar with the, the idea of defensive code, uh, the idea is that you should, through your code, prevent that it doesn't run. So... No, I think that this is uh, aggressive code. With aggressive code, uh, I would make something like this. Let me show you. Um, assert. What this means is that if this is not true, it will stop the, the running of the game. <laughs> uh, it will immediately uh, stop the running of the game and say, hey, this track doesn't exist, so you have to fix that. This is what we call aggressive coding or aggressive approach. Uh, with defensive approach, any error should be... Uh, shouldn't be of the concern of the final release so if the track doesn't exist whatever uh, the the extreme in the extreme case where the track doesn't exist uh, this node just will simply do, won't play it because it doesn't exist so it won't even try to play it so you prevent it from uh, emitting an error saying hey this track doesn't exist so this game cannot run with this approach, with a defensive approach, uh, basically you are saying, hey, the game should never stop running, even if there are glitches, even if there are bugs, the game will keep running, and if the player notice something, if the player notice that, hey, this track's not playing, uh, they can report a bug so we can fix that. Um, ideally, a defensive approach should be... Um, you should use a defensive approach on releases, but on development branches and on development uh, stages of production, uh, it's often better to acknowledge if your code is lacking or if your game is lacking any logic or if your logic is, is not good enough. So it's very usual to go to an aggressive approach so you prevent any bugs in your game. But I like to live on the edge of the cliff, so I always, <laughs> so I always ignore that my games can bug out. Uh, if they, if there is a use case reported that my game is not running, I try to fix it. But on production, I don't try to fix uh, minor bugs. Just stuff that prevents the logic from actually running.